Welcome back to the Conley Family Channel. We're so glad you're here. This kid in her one shoe cracks me up. Right when we woke up this morning, we went outside because the wind had finally calmed down and we just went to check out some fresh air and let her run around a little. The sky is so beautiful today. I love gloomy days. They're my favorite. Poor Piper last night had an allergic reaction to the medication they have her on and she had burns and blisters on her cheek and we had to take some Benadryl. She's still not feeling great. It still burns. It's 10 30 in the morning. I am still in bed. I have a notebook taking notes for Piper. I got the most discouraging phone call of my life. She has been on antibiotics for nine days, which you don't want to give unless you really need it because they thought that she had a bladder infection. Well, it turns out they were wrong. They misdiagnosed her. So now we're back to charting symptoms and trying to hope and pray to figure out what's going on. We're going to test out some remedies we have at the house and see if we can come up with a solution and that's what we're praying for. So, pray for us. Wish us luck. See how this goes. I am super sorry. There's not going to be a lot going on in this video today just because of the chaos that's invoking in our home right now with Piper's sickness and the pain management I'm staying on top of. So, today we're just doing bathroom cleaning day. Give you a brief little view of that. And then we're going to give you guys a meal that you can cook for your family under $5. Bathroom is getting all clean. We have a really old shower, so what we do in order to make it look better is spot the shower curtain and you can pull it to cover everything up and it really helps. We're gonna try a new tea. I think that Piper likely has IBS. Her symptoms match what I can find. And of course, we're gonna go to the doctor tomorrow and we're gonna get whatever testing needs to be done. She just got out of a hot bath. Did it help at all, baby? No. Tummy still hurts. This sucks. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. Let's go get this tea. What are you doing, Lonnie? I just finished reading. For what subject? Um, history. Yeah, early American history. What are you learning about? Taxes without the something. <laughs> <laughs> the Stamp Act, huh? <laughs> Taxes. I look funny without my Taxation. Money. Yeah, without representation. So for Piper, we're going to try a turmeric tea with chamomile and raw local honey. This is Daddy's cup because it with the B and Daddy's mm -hmm. name starts with the B. And Bell. Yeah. All right, I'm sitting down here with my notebook and Piper's unicorn pen, trying to do our meal planning for the week. I have me in five times speed. I'm just showing, got the days of the week written down. Now I'm writing breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Lonnie wanted to show her cursive. And we're working on our meal plan, trying to make sure that when we go to town tomorrow on a two hour drive, that we have everything we need to go grocery shopping after her doctor's appointments. Here, we were just discussing foods that do and don't hurt Piper's stomach. pulling out my Trim Healthy Mama cookbook so that I can look through some of the new recipes that I haven't tried yet, put them down on our meal plan. And the baby is up. No surprise there, she has been a horrible sleeper today. Okay, 
slowly am getting the rest of this meal plan done. She's so happy right here. It's time. Join me while we make our family meal for five people under $5. All right, well, today's meal for under $5 to feed your family of five or less is going to be black bean burritos. And we are using our tortillas, a red onion, black beans, two cans, and I'll link the Walmart grocery pickup so you can see the exact cost. So of course the way to make this cheaper would be to look at your local dollar store for one dollar tortillas. Some mango, and if you have a jalapeno on hand, we are going to use that in mine. The kids will not eat it if it's spicy, but like the mango salsa that we put on it, super good. And I like jalapeno in mine. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut up my red onion. So you're just going to need one quarter of a red onion, or you know, if you like more than that, you can use more too. There's no, there's no stopping. If you have your onion, you can chop it up like that, and you can pulse your mango and food processor in. I'll chop my hand, and then you're going to take your black beans, drain them in the sink. to the camera. let my jalapeno with the mango pureed up just for my burritos look and then I'll add the onion in. We got our black beans cooking down. I need to stir them and season them. Get some protein from the beans in there and then you get some vegetables and fruit with your onion, jalapeno, and your mango and then depending on what type of tortilla you use you have some more carbs in there. So let me know if you try this and how you like it. You just try it and tell us what you think. Hers just has onion, mango, black beans, and some ketchup on it. Good. <laughs> Think other kids should try it? Yeah. You gonna play your game on your break? Here's what mine looks like before it's folded up. The 0% fat Greek yogurt, black beans, jalapenos, mango, and onion. I get to sit here today and do my goodbye alone. The baby's in front of me napping, finally, which she desperately needed. And if you can listen carefully, you can hear those sleep sounds playing in the back. I still haven't figured out how to edit <laughs> that out of our videos. Anyhow, I'm sorry today was all over the place. I look like a mess. The kids look like a mess with the exception of Leilani. We started this YouTube channel one, two, three days before one of the hardest times of my life has hit with Piper being sick in constant doctor's appointments and pain management. So definitely have not been our best about getting ready, just kind of staying comfortable and surviving. And sometimes that is what life is like. It's just survival. And it's okay. We're doing the best that we can. And God is getting us through everything one day at a time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Well, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, try your best to choose joy, hope, and strength today in whatever you may be facing. And we'll be back tomorrow with another daily life video.